Okay, this is Mr. Anderson here, and I'm going to be giving you a little short tutorial on how to get started using Educator, which is the 3D modeling program that we're going to be uh, working with over the next several weeks. So on your desktop, you're going to want to look for this icon here, Educator. It's got that blue E imprinted on the side of a cube. And let's go ahead and open that up. If you don't see the icon on the desktop, just go in the Start menu, Programs, and then you should see Educator in there. When you open up Educator, this is what you'll get. And you just want to go up to the File menu here and File, Open, New Sheet. And here we are. This is what Educator looks like. Okay, you've got this sort of wire cube here. You've got your mouse pointer with some numbers by it toolbars up here. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is I want to show you how to um, start rotating uh, the view because what we're going to do is, is model in three dimensions. Right now we're looking at this just flat two dimensions. This little green icon up here, we highlight it or scroll over on it, it says rotate. Go ahead and click on that and then anywhere on the screen, go ahead and click down and drag and you're going to see that this wireframe is actually a cube. We were looking at it just from one side, but by using the rotate tool and just you can click anywhere and you can drag this all around and and it looks great. Once you've dragged it around and you're not sure which side you you're facing, you can click the view along plus y reset and that brings it right back to where you started. Okay? So, now with an understanding of of how we can view the entire model of wireframe of what we're doing, um, let's start adding some lines. And because right now this is just a wireframe, this is just like an like an outline of a cube, but not there are no lines, there are no surfaces on this. So let's use the line tool, which is this first uh, yellow icon up on the top. Go ahead and click down on that. Now, when we click down on that, look below my pointer, below the numbers. It says line. Select point one. We want to select one point. Now it says select point two. It's just asking for two points between which it will draw a line. And now it just restarts. It says select point one. So you just keep doing that and we are going to draw ourselves. Now we have a box around that, uh, that face of our cube. I'm going to go ahead and just finish drawing this entire cube. Remember, we're viewing this in three dimensions. Sometimes people have a hard time at first being able to see, okay, wait, which way is everything facing and where are my sides? Yay! And then we'll click on the line tool to stop using it. And we can drag and rotate around and you see that we drew a cube. And that's all I'm going to show you how to do today. In our next uh, little tutorial, we'll look at adding surfaces to this and rendering it. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more. This is Mr. Anderson signing off.